Greetings to everybody. The topic is introduction to chromatography. A chromatography is a technique of separating multi component into individual fractions. That means separation of mixture of compounds into individual component. The separation is carried by two phases, mobile phase and stationary phase. The mixture to, to be separate is called as a mobile phase and which it carries through a structure of holding another material called stationary phase. The separation of the various components of the mixture travel at different speeds causing them to separate. The separation of the mixture of the component is based on differential partition between the stationary phase and the mobile phase. This can be seen by a pictorial representation. Okay. So, this is a paper chromatography. Here, a paper, a sheet of paper or a cloth where having a colored pigment a spot of colored pigment that is nothing but an ink spot when it is in contact with a water or alcohol the complex pigment or the colored pigment is dissolved in this water or the adsorbent a capillary action will carry the mixture up the paper or the cloth but all the component of the pigment will not travel at the same speed or same rate. The molecule, the larger molecule of the mixture will travel slowly while the smallest one race ahead, which causing the stationary phase to develop discrete bands of colors corresponding to each component of the mixture. This gives the technique name chromatography or writing color. So, principles of chromatography, as we studied earlier, there are two phases, mobile phase and stationary phase. The mobile phase refers to the mixture of substance Mobile phase refers to the mixture of substance to be separated in a liquid or a gas. The stationary phase is a porous solid matrix through which the sample contained in the mobile phase percolates. So this is the stationary phase. The paper or a cloth, a sheet of paper or a cloth is considered as a stationary phase solid matrix through which the sample contained in the mobile phase percolates. The interaction between the mobile phase and stationary phase results in the separation of the compound from the mixture. Types of chromatography. Basically, the chromatography is classified into two types. Adsorption chromatography Partition chromatography. Adsorption chromatography is further classified the competition between solid and gas called as gas solid chromatography between solid and liquid called a liquid chromatography, solid liquid chromatography which is further classified into two types adsorption column chromatography thin layer chromatography then again partition chromatography is between liquid and gas called as gas liquid chromatography between liquid and liquid called as liquid liquid chromatography the liquid liquid chromatography is further classified into partition column chromatography paper chromatography thin layer chromatography and reversed phase partition chromatography. So here we are going to see about 
what is partition chromatography and what is adsorption chromatography so partition chromatography the separation of components between two liquid phases that is original solvent and the film of solvent used in the column so separation is between two liquid phases is the partition chromatography the separation of a components from the sample mixture is carried out by the process of partition components between two phases so here the mobile phase is in the liquid form which is spotted which is carried over by the solvent through a stationary phase which is carried over through a solvent through a stationary phase so that is partition chromatography principle the mobile phase which is spotted in the sheet the mobile phase which is spotted in the stationary phase moves from the stationary phase and the star components get separated the separation depends on different partition coefficient this is an example for partition chromatography paper chromatography so types of chromatography liquid liquid chromatography so again liquid liquid chromatography the mobile phase we are spotted is the liquid sample which is carried by the solvent through the stationary phase so a sheet of blotting paper is used the components are separated based on their differential migration velocities depending upon the mobility of the speed of the sample that is the migratory velocities on separating they are stained to make the chromatogram visible so that is the color spots chromatogram visible color spots we are seeing gas liquid chromatography the separation of the mixture is done by an inert gas along a tube the tube is filled with finely divided inert solid the solid is coated with a non volatile oil the migration of each component occurs at a rate determined by its solubility in oil as well as its vapor pressure so this is an pictorial representation of partition chromatography examples applications of partition chromatography is used to separate and identify amino acids tannins alkaloids carbohydrates and glycosides adsorption chromatography is the oldest type of chromatographic techniques it makes use of mobile phase which is either in liquid or gaseous form the mobile phase is adsorbed on the surface of a stationary phase so here the main component is adsorbate and adsorbent what is mean by adsorbate the substance which get adsorbed on any substance is called adsorbate if gas get adsorbed onto the surface of a solid then the gas termed as adsorbate and the surface of the solid is termed as adsorbent so this is a column chromatography where the silica or alumina is considered as a adsorbent and the solvent or the liquid or a gas which is a mobile phase considered as a adsorbent two types of phases stationary phase and mobile phase the stationary phase is the adsorbent that is nothing but silica or alumina the mobile phase is a adsorbed bit that is the sample we are adding 
applications it is used in the isolation of antibiotics identification of carbohydrates used to separate and identify fats and fatty acids used to isolate and determine the peptides and the proteins three types of adsorption chromatography thin layer chromatography column chromatography gas solid chromatography so thin layer chromatography plc column chromatography gas solid chromatography thank you